What's good, y'all? As y'all can see, we back on the NBA 2K24. A little twist. We're checking out the WNBA 2K24 mode here in the game. Now look, you guys. Drop a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn on those notifications. It literally takes a second. That's all I'm asking for for you guys. It's free. It literally takes a second. Now look, in this video, I'm going to go over everything. I'm going to show you guys the build that I went with. I'm going to show you guys the animations I chose and the jump shot that I chose here for my build. I'm not going to make it too many videos just to show you guys what I have on this build. I'm going to put it all into one. And then, of course, towards the end, we're going to show you guys me going crazy with my build. Now, look, let's get straight into it. All right, you guys, so this is the making of my build here. As you guys can see, in the WNBA mode, you own, it's, it's like build templates. You cannot create your own build. You just go with the templates that they have. I went with the point guard, inside out playmaker, and I was looking at just the potential of the build to see like what's the capability that you can have. Now don't get confused about the potential. That's just the potential. Everything can't be a 99 with these builds that you create. So as you boys and girls can see, point guard, right-handed, inside out playmaker. So this is the max potential of this build. On the side, just showing you what you're able to get. Now, these builds are very limited, but I promise you it doesn't really make a difference because this WNBA mode is completely different from the mode that everyone in the community plays, which is like park, you know, the, the regular mode. This is completely different. Like, only can go up to certain heights, of course, because it's women builds. But if you play this, you know what I'm saying. Like, this mode is just completely limited. But it's fun because it's like everybody is at the same level. Can't nobody be, I say, too better than the next person. So I want the inside out playmaker here. I just felt like this was like the best point guard build template that they had that was to my liking in the way that I played 2K. All right, so as you boys and girls can see here, for my inside out point guard build, I went 5'8 on the height. 155 pounds and 510 on the wingspan now, as you boys and girls can see i can get a 94 close shot a 90 driving layup and i promise y'all the driving dunk and all of that it does not makes a difference in this WNBA mode i think you need like at least a 38 driving dunk to even dunk this is completely different from the mode that we all play you don't need a lot of stuff higher on here because they get a lot of stuff at a lower attribute so as you guys can see i got a 78 mid-range an 87 three ball a 91 free throw, a 99 pass accuracy, a 93 ball handle, a 90 speed with the ball, perimeter defense 77, steal 72, speed 85, acceleration acceleration 81, vertical 91, and stamina a 99. All right, you guys, so this here is my um, moves and just all of the animations that I have here on this build. Um, as you guys can see, for the jump shot, I went with WNBA 7. Um, for the layup style, I went with DeMar DeRozan. For the dribble pull-up, I went Pro 2. And for the spin jumper, all of that down is default. I didn't choose anything for that. So for my pass style, I went with Trey Young, dribble style, Zach Levine, signature size up, John Morant, regular breakdown combo, De'Aaron Fox, aggressive breakdown combo, Steve Francis, escape moves, LaMelo Ball, combo moves, John Morant, crossover, John Wall, Behind the back, Dumar DeRozan, Spin, Penny Hardery, Hesitation, Ja Morant, and the step back, Luka Donick. Now, everything else didn't really bother changing or trying to select anything for it. I was just ready to go straight to the park or the 3v3 after I got my player the way that I wanted it. Now, look, if you guys want to check out this game mode and create, and if you do create this build, let me know down in the comment section how you guys think about this build or what you guys think about this build because I feel like the game mode is actually pretty lit like I've, you come across a lot of females in this game mode or just a good amount but you also come across some sweats in this game mode but um this game was actually pretty fun I'm not even gonna lie um the two games that I did play in this game mode man it was just it was just a 10 out of 10 like it was very fun it was very fun because it's like nobody is too better than the next person it's like you're not terrible but it's completely funny the way that these um, women builds perform on 2K. But we're going to get straight into this gameplay here that I have. Make sure y'all drop a like if you got this far. Comment down in the comment section. 23 if you got this far. And let's get straight into this gameplay. All right, you guys. So this here is the debut of my Inside Out Playmaker on the 2K24 WNBA mode here inside the game. Now, you guys, I had a ton of fun playing this mode. 
Um, it's just very hilarious seeing how these female players operate and how they move on the court. Now, as you guys can see, everybody's like rocking inside out playmakers in this mode the most because it's like one of the most balanced guard builds you can have. As I can see, I'm with my boy Man Zen Me and BP, aka Preach. Now look, that build that BP has right there, you guys don't even touch it. Don't even, don't even touch it. Don't even worry about making it. That mud is sorry. Now y'all can see I'm taking the ball up the court, hit my boy Mans with the easy layup, and I'm telling you guys, <sighs> the paint defense on this is crazy. It's the opposite. It's like, don't make a center, make a guard. Literally, because you can get boards over a center. As I can see, my boy BP is on a defensive anchor. He's like... The max height for females in the WNBA mode, and he literally gets snagged on by guards. Just pay attention this whole game. Now, we back on defense. He went up with a crazy layup. I don't know what he thought he was playing here, but this ain't that. Now, they're up two to our zero, man, and I'm trying to just get something going. Now, as I can see, I'm coming up the court here trying to keep it going. The dribble moves on this mode is pretty smooth. I, I, I like it. You get you can get shifty, but in order to get the dream moves that you want, you really gotta pay attention to how you make your builds. Now as y'all can see, we got two points today too. I'm trying to hold I'm trying to hold some D. We did the best that I could. You know what I'm saying? We got the stop and hit BP on that. Oh my god. As I look, he's the tallest build on this court. And he's looking like a pure softy did y'all just see that small guard bump him bump him and just stop his whole layup bro like that was crazy like you don't need a center on here just just get a small guard and play center you gonna get some stops on some centers man that's crazy that's literally crazy the small guard just little babied him like get big in the paint you feel me now i wasn't paying attention they was opening the paint for a minute now we got four to four now we trying to go ahead and get something going here man we trying to get some some rhythm some some rhythm going here so that we can go crazy these boys these whoever they are they not nice bp getting handled in the paint he getting pure handled like pure bitched in the paint check him out <laughs> don't make that build i'm telling y'all all right let's get shifty though as i can see i'm bringing the, call, the ball back up the court i'm trying to go ahead and get something going man i'm trying to i'm trying to create some space for a three-pointer but i hit it to my boy bp because he keeps slipping that's the only thing he can do he can't shoot on the build only thing he could do was attack the paint, man. Now, let's hold this D right here. Now, hold my PBR. I ain't gonna lie. Who was cooking? Yeah, he was getting me. He should have took some of this, the stuff that he had because his teammates was pure dookie. You feel me? Now, I'm here with the... Uh, I'm here with the three-pointer. Uh, a bounce back for my first attempt on the three ball. A bounce back. Now, the shot that I'm using here, it's like the best shot that you can get in this WNBA mode because the jumpers on this mode is crazy. Like, they don't have a very good selection at all. So, this jump that I'm using, this is like the best jumper you could use. But with this jumper, as y'all can see, it speeds up towards the end, like towards the top of the bar. It just completely speeds up, which was throwing me off really bad. But y'all know me. I'm going to get it. I'm going to lock in. I'm going to make sure that I get what's done. Done. This is our first game. You know what I'm saying? This is our first game. You just got to get the feel of it. got to warm up. got to learn our shots. I wasn't even mad. But they got us up eight to six. Now I'm asking BP, set a screen, man. Let me, let me get that. You know what I'm saying? They sagging. He missed again. It's cool. You feel me? Let me get that thing, though. <laughs> Y'all know I ain't missing the second one. Come on now. I got the feel of the jumper now. I got five points. Two assists. We going crazy right here, y'all. I activated that takeover, and look, that was just chef kiss. Icing on the cake right there. They throwing the game. They mad. I don't know what y'all mad for. It's 8 to 11. Y'all still in the game. What's going on? He throwing the ball out. I'm guessing because he didn't get the ball or something. Like, I don't, I don't know what's going on. But y'all can see, man, I'm trying to hit him with the 1-2, one, 1-2, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. I should have shot the ball, though. Should have been shot it, but... It's cool. I'm going to hit my boy Mans open on the hash. And that's an easy three-pointer. Now, we got these boys up 14 to 8. And they throwing the game still. I think he was really mad at the fact that he wasn't touching the ball. Now, the person in the red hasn't touched the ball this entire time. And I think he just, I don't know. I think he was just like, you know what? Let me throw the game. <laughs> Let me throw the game. And he's completely throwing it. We got these boys 17 to 8. 
check him out. He throwing the ball in correctly now. You trying to get a stop in the paint, and I'm telling y'all, it's no point of having a big on this game. The guards can literally play big. And as I can see, I got this ball. Let me hit him with the one, two. They doubling me now. They see I got that takeover on. They doubling me. They trying to, they trying to get a stop. But the game is far gone. Ten to seventeen. I don't know what you think you're gonna do trying to come back like that. It's possible, but we ain't letting it happen. As I can see, another three pointer. Now it's twenty to ten. They definitely not coming back this time. Now look, you guys, we are trying to get a stop here, but we really don't even have to. The game over. Like. I'll give you a free point. You know what I'm saying? The game is completely over. You know what I'm saying? Like, 20 to 10, you're not coming back from that. Now, they got an easy little layup right there. I couldn't stop it. I'm stuck behind. Whatever. And y'all can see, I'm trying to get a little highlight right here. Huh, huh. Let me get that. Stung him. <laughs> hey, man. We told these boys out the frame. We tore them out the frame, y'all. We was not playing with these boys. We told these boys out the frame. We went to the game chat. They was in there crying like some babies, y'all. But look, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments. I want to keep if y'all want to keep seeing videos from this game mode. I want to make this into a series, man. If any of you guys play this game mode, let me know down in the comments. I need teammates on here. But see you guys in the next one. Peace out.